I worked in Raffles Place for about 20 years. It was from 1974 to 1995. My years at Raffles Place were happy, were exciting. The changes in Raffles Place were also quite a lot. I would describe the changes as being remarkable. One of the things in my memory is the underground car park that was at Raffles Place. It was built and completed in the 60s, opened by, I think, our first Prime Minister, Lee Kuan Yew. And it was built with about 250 uh, car parks to ease the traffic problem in the financial district of Singapore. That car park gave way to the present Raffles Place MRT. So the transformation in Raffles Place included a transport solution aspect. Welcome to SMU. You know, as you can see, SMU is located in a very beautiful part of Singapore. You, know, you are seeing an integration of history and new infrastructures together in this very unique space. And we work very closely with URA, Singapore government agencies, to create a space whereby it is modern, it's usable, and it is well serving our purpose, education. My uh, memories of uh, Chen Shelley Raffles Place goes back to the early 80s, where I started working. Uh, at that time, it was uh, full of retail activities, and the place is actually narrow and crowded, but it has a certain uh, vibe and a certain life. For me, I recall Change Alley in a different way because when we were young, it was always called Change Alley, not Change Alley. Uh, it has a certain twang to it that, uh, that, that, you know, that helps me recall this place much more clearly. 我从小是在这儿熬夜街那边长大旺季是文房街我是住在梁间戏院的对面下来后来就我们甚至起大火我们一家人八口都是住在同一个房间里面 Okay, well, I remember when I was young, uh, my grandmother, my maternal grandmother lives in uh, McCollum Street, which is uh, in Chinatown. 
quite close to uh, Raffles Place. I believe uh, at that place is called Wapo at that time. You know, and uh, you know I would uh, play around uh, that area with my older cousin. At that time, I'm probably less than uh, ten years old. So uh, in the evening, you know, when the weather was cooler, you know, my cousin and I, you know, I would sit on the trolley bicycle, you can call that, and then he would cycle. And he would cycle around Raffles Place, Koya Key, by the sea. You know, back to Chinatown, and uh, that to me was a very memorable experience. And uh, of course, in my memory, you know, the buildings then were, you know, that was in the 60s. You know, old buildings, a lot of old shop houses, warehouses by the Singapore River, some commercial buildings, but they were fairly uh, short. You know, not the tall buildings we see today. So that was, uh, uh, to me, uh, you know, what I see today is a very uh, a vivid. Uh, transformation you know of our Singapore skyline from uh, how it was in the 60s to how it is today and I'm very proud of the transformation.